but yeah, like yeah, no. it's... You get that. Anyway, the next SCP before we get off track again. <laughs> I like getting off track. Uh, that's like that's seventy percent of your streams. Anyway. SCP-515 is presently a Caucasian male of approximate age of 14. No applicable birth certificate has yet been found, so all relevant personal information is the product of hypothesis and the subject of guesswork. His basal metabolic rate is comparable to that of a blue whale or a mammal of greater size but mass is slightly below average for humans of similar ages. Despite ignorance of all bodily needs and despite attempted interference of the part of, on the part of the researchers, SP-515 has yet to be observed in a state of consciousness apart from stage N3 dreamless sleep. For the entire duration of containment, SP-515 has ingested no food or water and has passed no waste what what has kept him alive for so long is still under study. Even asleep, SCP-515 has been known to speak on rare occasions. Little of what is said is, said is intelligible, and that of which can be heard is typically incoherent, similar to the speech of a person in a group of delirium. Portions have been recorded for future research. No noticeable difference in the movement of SP 515 1 has been noted during these periods. The recorded message they got the vessel cannot view the redact, uh, no, incomprehensible. It simply moves in time with the sea. There are more than there are, there are always more. Can I? Can you see where I am? Can you breathe? Can you move? Whenever SP-515 moves in any capacity, one or more of a number of celestial objects, mostly asteroids, move as well. The estimated 19 objects vary in diameter from 1.5 kilometers to 33.6 kilometers. The largest of these is roughly 133 percent the size of the object that caused the uh, Redefort impact crater in Free State, South Africa. Regardless of the direction of SCP-1515's motion, SCP-515-1 only ever moved towards Earth. A twitch of a finger or toe typically corresponds to a movement of about 140 kilometers. Comparable movement of a limb indicates motion of SP-515-1 on the scale of 460 kilometers or more. Sustained motion, such as sleepwalking, has been demonstrated to correlate with the objects traveling toward Earth at velocities reaching 280,000 kilometers per hour. The rise and fall of SP-515's chest unfortunately must not be stopped, and accordingly, according to SP Foundation satellites, corresponds with the movement in the celestial objects to the degree of 10 km per respiratory cycle. If SCP-515 is killed, it is presumed that someone with a similar anomaly will appear someplace else on the planet. Due to the difficulty and danger of having to find such an, such an individual with no initial leads, it is stressed that Killing SP-515 is never an acceptable course of action. Hey, Bright. Yeah? You got cut off for a bit there. Gosh damn it. Discord! Where did it cut me off? I didn't hear it cut off. But I also did not hear her cut off. Oh, then it might be on urine during... Yeah, it might have been Wi-Fi. Yeah. Stinky, stinky Wi-Fi. Let me guess, uh, Xfinity Wi-Fi. No clue. Because it's my school. Most likely uh, Xfinity. And that's understandable. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's that SCP. 
So, um, let me get this straight. Sleeping child who, when moving, causes extremely large asteroids to head towards Earth. Yep. Still we sleeping. Right, so that's in XK. Easily. Very easily. All the time that he's asleep. What'd you say, Rattler? Well, he's technically not moving them all the time while he's asleep. Well, no, it's, uh, they are moving all the time because the movement of his breathing causes them to move as well. Yeah. I think I missed that part. Okay. Yeah, it's, that's mentioned. And we kill it? If you kill they it, also we not kill the child! But, but Look, child. if every time I moved, it caused mass destruction, I would rather die. Dragon, that, it would just move to another person. Yeah, again, like, I was gonna say, that would be an option oh. if it wasn't implied that it would just move to another person and by doing so it would be an unbelievable pain in the ass to find that person that it moved to. yeah also like the, the thing is the fact the fact that they like are asleep makes me think that like if they wake up we don't know what would happen so like if they woke up there it could be potentially higher than xk too well, the only things that it affects is a handful of asteroids, so it wouldn't destroy the universe. Yeah. You, we, we don't know if like it has control over other stuff than that, though. That's just well, the, that's just the phys, that's just the visible effects we see of it. Well, yeah, it but it could be warping oh, society. Yeah, I was gonna say like, we like this is kind of the issue of. Like, there, there, there's not evidence of it causing any other activities, so it's probably not that, like, my brain. I'm fighting Hades while I'm trying to discuss Wait, logic. what's, what's, what's Wait. the swords, like, what's the cross swords next to the SCP uh, contain, containment symbol? Or what? foundation symbol? Well, okay. Are you gonna put the thing where it goes? Wait, oh, I, I, I was not paying full attention because I was reading a little bit of the next SCP. What, what were you saying again? Wait, okay. What's the SCP where it's two crossed swords uh, near the SCP? Where are you seeing crossed swords? The foundation's icon or symbol. Oh. Where are you seeing cross swords? Oh, wait, okay, can you put the thing where it goes and then scroll down? No, I was asking wh where were you putting this? Oh, I thought it was like world ending, but not universe ending. Right, thank you. Yeah. Where now? Wait, uh. Where is it? This? We haven't yeah. gotten to that yet, so we don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Probably further ahead in the thousands. But uh, the reason I got distracted is because apparently this next SCP, who knows how long it's going to last since it's been marked for deletion. Hmm. And the only reason it's, it's not deleted. deleted, the only reason it's not deleted yet is because SCP-035 article mentions it. But, but that can change at any given time. Then in that case, do we even need to talk about it, or? Well, seeing how it's a pretty damn monstrous being, and oh, still okay. technically part of the SP universe because it's not deleted. As of right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I guess if it gets deleted while we're still doing this, we can just mark it off. Right. Anyway. SCP-517 is a large carnivorous bipedal animal of 
indeterminate origin, roughly 4.5 meters in height, and weighing approximately 600 kilo uh, kilograms. It is, its appearance is a hybrid of several mam mammalian species. The creature has four long ape-like arms, one pair behind the other. All digits have retractable claws, some 8 centimeters in length. The legs appear mostly ursine, ur ur ursine, what? I think ursine. Ursine, got it. That, that's what it means. Yeah. The creature has a long muscular tail, which generally, which is generally used for bounds while walking. The head is vaguely feline with powerful jaws and large forward set eyes, although it, it also sports two gazelle-like horns. The creature's entire body is covered in sleek black fur, which has exhibited significant flame retardant properties. SCP-517 is extremely dangerous due to its great speed, strength, plethora of natural weapons, and extraordinarily resistant to injury. It will attack every living organism in sight in a seemingly mindless rage. This berserk state, however, is not without strategy. The, the creature can instantly incorporate any available weapon into its tactics, suggesting e either high intelligence or an instinctual understanding of the dynamics of combat and prompting serious questions about its origins. When not in engaged in feeding or combat, SP-517 will either sit quietly or pace slowly within its container as if waiting for further violent diversion. The earliest record of SCP-517's existence is an incident in which the creature slaughtered and consumed the better part of the small town and data expunged over the course of several weeks. The creature was subdued and captured after being shot eight times with an XM-500 Barrett .50 caliber rifle. The final shot was only one observed to have any real effect, impacting the base of the skull and putting the creature into a shallow coma. The creature's unconsciousness lasted longer than the wound themselves, which healed completely in a matter of minutes. The creature apparently suffered no permanent loss of brain function from this injury. Current research is focused primarily on duplicating SP-517's abilities as it's it, as it is unlikely that we will ever be able to to truly control the beast. So that's it. So this thing is intelligent and strong. Extremely angry, carnivorous. You know what I'm starting to realize? This is just a mammal version of 682. I could kind of see that, yeah. Except that it can use weapons. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, because it, it presumably has opposable thumbs. I'm I'm yeah, thinking at worst... Opposable thumbs, so... I'm thinking at worst, either country pushing it would be continent. I don't think that. If it took several weeks to wipe out a small town, I think it's like at most city well, and even then like I feel like that might be pushing it like it's not like it's just constantly running around murdering everything in sight it has periods in which it doesn't go out eating or killing and as long as something's not directly in its line of sight that is living it won't freak out and try to kill it Right. Because if, if it was like that, where it's constantly killing, I think it could be country. What was that, Jerry? I was saying that seems to automatically make it calmer than 682, but also makes it less violent. Yeah. So. I. I would say it's somewhere between certain groups and city, so just put it in city, I suppose. Right. 
it depends on our definition of city how many how many buildings is required for city I don't know I think it's like a certain population yeah fair anyway All right. now I gotta pull up the next SCP so give me a moment this one is actually a D class personnel a D class oh Well, technically, we don't have to talk about it if we don't want to. Is it bad? They're, they're terminated. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it says, you click slash Keter, terminated. <laughs> okay, let's, let's talk about it and then immediately put it into reclassified. All right. Description. Subject seems to have the ability to affect and alter the universe by will alone. Also, its SCP name is 531-D. As of now, no knowledge of how this is possible has been gained, but we do know that the subject's mood seems to be the main form of control he has over the abilities. Around the subject, the laws of physics seem to break down. Objects in, in his vicinity will slightly leviate, levitate or begin to pass through solid matter and occasionally teleport usually switching places with another object in the vicinity of the, of the subject. This seems to only happen to objects that are not the subject's center of attention at the moment. If subject is in goodwill and everything that can be done to keep him that way is to be done, staff at Ratham report feelings of euphoria and elation. Wait, what? All bruises, cuts, or injuries not only seem to heal, but vanish, as if they were never there. Even scars will fade. So far, these changes have persisted after persons have been removed from subjects' vicinity, and even after subjects undergoes a mood swing. Subjects have shown limited control over these abilities, usually moving things telekinetically rather than by hand. If subject becomes agitated, people near him will begin to feel depressed, irrational, violent, and even a word I can't see on Twitch, depending on the okay. intensity of the subject's mood swing. During the worst of these swings, objects, persons, and subjects' vicinity will age decay rapidly if the subject is depressed. When angered, things will spontaneously char and catch fire, and red energy will emate from the subject's body. Living things caught in this energy seem to have all the life energy sucked out of them. Thermal images show their body, body heat literally being sucked out of whatever body part is closest to the subject. Autopsies of these individuals show now a cause of death we are currently able to detect. Since his containment in 19 redacted, the subject has shown an increase in, in his control over his abilities and also has not aged at all. Current procedures are not for subjects in containment, but for the protection of staff on site redacted. The subject is contained willingly, going only as far as to say that he knows he is dangerous if he loses control and has no desire to accidentally hurt anyone else. Doctor redacted wanted to inquire further, but noticed tears on subject's cheeks and that subject seemed to be concentrating extremely hard, presumably to prevent his abilities from manifesting. No questions about the subject's past are to be asked under any circumstances. If subject brings it up, change the subject of the converge conversation immediately. Okay. Wait, who changed my name? Not me. Oh. Oh. Why didn't you change my name? I did that a while ago, so I don't actually remember why. Okay, now I know how he got killed. How? Oh. Clef. God oh, damn it, Clef. Fucking Clef. I wish I could sound surprised, but I'm not. Apparently it was another it? doctor who told him to do it, but his name is redacted, so we have no idea who it is. 
I hope that doctor is dead. Was that was the reacted was the redacted doctor also perhaps named Clef? <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad because this one actually isn't evil. It's just that they can't control their powers. Yeah, well, like Food. it said that they were get, learning how to control them better. Shoot, man. Should we put it in spoo tier or reassigned? Yes. Yes, it is. For food. respect, because of the fact that he is dead. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Clef. Like, okay. I am learning how to do this better. Yeah. <laughs> Why doesn't Clef just go join the GOC at this point? He did. He was a part of the GOC, but left oh, and joined a foundation. Wait, then what? <laughs> Why? His instinct <laughs> is to kill everything. Why is he here? <laughs> SCP Foundation wanted him to kill Lex, so they took him. That seems counterproductive. He's probably a bit less of a murder hobo now than he was before. Probably. Okay, and a bit catch less. Me up, that means kill, killing every, killing every, uh, every week, to every other week instead of every day. Also. I can't. Oh, yeah. Isn't Clef the father yeah. of that one uh, SCP that's yes. Like really Yes. Yeah. yes. Anyway, that hatch it. That means that Dragon Thrive, that means to be fair, he doesn't kill every SCP sometimes. He ha he does things with them and then kills them and um, Which I think that's worse. That's worse. I think, I think that's worse. No, that's no, worse. just think about this. The SCP had to live long enough after the hoo ha. To have for the child to be born, so how was that? Yeah. The dude. No, no. I think that's all just smash, smash. Where like no. one the different meaning of smash, and then the murder kind of smash. Oh, anyway. like a black, black like a black yeah. widow spider, except that, a Jerry, human. That, anyway, Jerry, letting them live <laughs> long enough to have a baby and then killing them is not. Also, better. wasn't anyway. Wasn't this wasn't this being well, like godlike though? Well, yeah. I don't know how long God, that would that would take. The god did uh, non-consensual things to Clef. Then Clef, many years later, uh, took the god's life. Anyway. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay, that's fair. Hatchet, what was that that's thing better. you were trying to say? <laughs> Hatchet? Sorry, I got a little loud. Hatch. You're muted. Huh. You good, Hatchet? Okay. Would you like me to use my 2K uh, points to sound an alert to scare Bright? Do it. Don't you fucking dare. You know, the thing is, since you said that, I'm prepared for it. So it's not going to scare me. <laughs> well, like I said, I was going to let uh, Hatchet decide that. And Hatchet said no. Okay, then it, it's not happening. I'm surprised you're not, like, saving up for the big one. You know, the, uh, the million ones. Oh. Oh. Lilith has that covered, so... Also, I'm very bad at saving points. <laughs> I'd say Lilith and Shu probably have that. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, Hatchet, what was that thing you were trying to say? Ah. Okay. Well, before we do, uh, technically, Clef does have an SCP enemy. Oh? The Crystalline Butterflies. They do not like him. Isn't that because he kept trying to 
time to destroy the person they love most. Yep. Actually, I think he actually did kind of end up dead, and then the crystalline butterflies helped him. And he's sort of not bad, sort of is. And okay, Hatch, I will. Here we go. <laughs> and it's Wait. You sent me food? Wait. Was that... Was that a donation or food? I couldn't tell. <laughs> I... It uh, says treat stream. Treat uh, stream. <laughs> I, it, 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 on my screen, it flashed, it flashed open, then disappeared. But when I went on Twitch, it, like, it didn't do that. I don't know. Why did it stream last? Why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, what did you... What did you get, Jerry, though? I don't know. You named it I Don't Need Food. Oh. <laughs> I forgot that I named it that. I think that was during a time where I had problems with the eating. I can probably change the names for that now, but anyway, on to the next SCP. I tell you, you still have problems eating, right? <laughs> the only problem I have eating is that I keep eating the thing I'm allergic to. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Right, I'm no. I'm getting a little overwhelmed with sound at the moment, so I'm gonna leave and just okay. listen on the stream. Okay. Yes. See okay. you, Jerry. Yeah. No, you See don't. You... you don't have Bet to you? go. What? I, I said overwhelmed with sound. Oh, you did you did you say that you are? Yeah. A little. Yeah. Yeah, it was Jerry. It was felt overwhelmed oh, okay. sound. Yeah. Anyway, the next. I was... I yeah. thought you were saying you were leaving because of me, so... No, uh... Yeah. Damn, but either. Yeah. Anyway, on to the next SCP. SCP-532 is a pathogenic bacteria most similar in composition to... I am going to butcher this. Uh, Pseudomonas... Orzi habitians. I fucking uh, hate scientific names. Anyway. Can you, like, put it, can you send it to me? Hold on, I can put can it in stream it? chat. Hold on. Okay. And there you go. Have you ever seen a penguin that's not nope. a penguin? Shit. An owl? Pseudomonas. Or is this. Eh. Or is the. Habitanus. Yeah. Uh. Or is. Yeah. That. Or is it? <laughs> what a turn to say. <laughs> SCP-532 shows an increased tolerance for low temperatures showing peak repro reproductive rates at, at negative 25 degrees Celsius. The full Here, tolerance... I'm going to look that up and see and see what it show... is. Yeah, so you have like a... Right. Yeah. Are you... Well... Oh. What? Motherfucker, he looks disgusting. Yeah, no. What, what disease is it? Oh, it it can cause sepsis, per, peritonitis, end of end of thalmitis, 
Yeah, and the phomitis, um, and bacteremia. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, on and to it from no. soil to rice patties. So. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, continuing on with the SCP after we know that knowledge. The full tolerance range of SP532 is approximately negative 52 degrees Celsius to 5 degrees Celsius. Furthermore, SP532 shows severe mechanisms in order to cope with high temperatures. Several small flagella line the cell membrane allowing SP532 to be carried by air currents into the upper stratosphere and lower mesosphere. Due to a lack of energy source, SP532 will enter into a state of hibernation for an indefinite amount of time while in the atmosphere. SP532 will leave its hibernating state once it detects warm air currents coming from the troposphere. SP532 will then retract several of its flagella and descend into the troposphere. The heat provided by the troposphere generally causes several instances of SP532 to turn into a clump similar in view to a snowflake. If the heat provided by the troposphere is above 0 degrees Celsius, SP532 will typically die before reaching the Earth's surface. Instances of SP532 reaching any inorganic material or a non-exothermic organism will spread their flagella and be carried by air currents back into the upper stratosphere. SCP-532 is coated in a chemical that reacts with the lipids of an exothermic organism cell membranes to create an endothermic reaction. This simultaneously kills nearby tissue and provides a suitable temperature for SCP-532 to reproduce. Victims of SP-532 describe this in a similar manner to the cold felt when a snowflake makes contact with the human skin. SP-532 shows a tendency to break down and ingest the, ingest the dermis and will not enter the body until the surrounding dermis has been covered. SP-532 will then enter the bloodstream causing major damage to the circulatory system due to the freezing and subsequent subs subsequent crystallization of water molecules. Typically, the victim will die of blood loss. Following the death of, the ho of a host victim, SP-532 will migrate back into the upper stratosphere. SP-532 shows a 98% mortality rate if left untreated. 100% if SP-532 is caught on the tongue. Treatment of victims of SP-532 may be conducted through exposure of water heated to 20 degrees Celsius or more. However, the results in massive tissue damage to affected areas and extreme cases of SP-532 infection may require amputation of affected limbs. So this is bacteria that imitates snowflakes. Basically. It imitates snowflakes, but based upon the descriptors, I'd say it's only one to a certain group. Mm -hmm. Like, it's hard to contain, yeah, but it's just like, if a single person gets this on them, they're going to have a bad time. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's not like actively trying to constantly reproduce in a manner that would become seriously societal de societally devastating right mm -hmm. I don't know but every time I hear the terminology bad time I think of Sans that skeleton lives rent free in my head and I hate it D dragon shut the fuck up no no you know, you know, she can mute you, right? 
I will find a way. You, you. 1984, the child. No. <laughs> All I said is every time I hear bad time, I think of that annoying. <laughs> what, were, what were you saying, Penguin? Sans. Jerry says this is not Undertale. This is not Undertale. Yep. All I knew, all I know, is when I was growing up, and like specifically middle, uh, middle school, I would be talking about Undertale to my friends, and I would have to specify how to spell it. What? Wait, what? Undertale has two different spellings. Dragon, no. I have seen terrible things that okay, uh, will have scarred me. That's it. I don't want to talk about dragon, it. Dragon, you're not allowed to make those joke, kind of jokes. Yes, dragon, why do, no. Why do barbecue chips taste like ketchup? I... What? <laughs> probably because most... Probably because most barbecue sauces incorporate ketchup into them. They do? Yeah. Like, a very large amount of barbecue sauces have ketchup-like stuffs in them. Yeah. Well, I agree with you, Jerry. Penguin, anyway. no anything yeah. plus. Anyway, the next one is actually um, a semi-popular SCP. Uh, this is SCP-575, also known as uh, Perceptual Darkness. Oh, no, I have, not, I not, to... not perceptual darkness. Uh, predatory darkness. Sorry. That I'm. I must ask a question. Yes. If this SCP is semi-popular, does that mean that it is very popular among truck drivers? <laughs> Go fuck yourself. I will now be leaving the voice call. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess they won't, I guess they will not be here in SCP then. Oh no, they're back. <laughs> we we were talking shit about you. Don't worry. I know. <laughs> and every time I walk into a room, I just assume everyone has actually been talking shit about me. It's probably not healthy, but it's the way I do things. I think that's called anxiety. That's exactly what it is. Yes, I have social anxiety. This is a thing. I. Like, I literally walked into a restaurant earlier today, which caused my social battery to be a foo bar, which is partially why I'm surprised I'm even able to be here. But point being, oh, no. the second that I walked into the, Whoa, what the, uh, the restaurant, my first thought was every single person in this restaurant is about to, is about to start judging me right this moment no one even looked at me but my brain is just like everyone here hates you oh i love social anxiety for some, for some reason google just decided oh we're gonna give you the all snap page i i have that same fear but with my science class except i have good reason to be scared of my science class because i almost beat the living fuck out of a kid what the fuck? He was being racist and homophobic. Okay. Like, okay, incredibly. That's understandable. And that's like, very like... understandable. Oh, yes, apparently. Yes, we love you, Hackett. Yes, we do love you. Also, apparently. Why is Elon Musk on the side of the screen? Oh, he's gone now. Okay. So apparently, he... the foundation. Uh... Oh. Hey, because uh, Musk paid for an advertisement. Right. I'm Elon Musk phobic. I have an irrational fear of Elon Musk. Anyway, this SCP. Oh, no. I have. Just... I have an. I have an irrational hatred of them. Right. But anyway. <laughs> Actually, no, no, rational. No, it's irrational about... hatred. It's yeah, I was about hatred. to say it's not. <laughs> it's not an irrational hatred if you have good reasons to hate a guy. Right. It's like saying I have an irrational hatred of Donald Trump. <laughs> or I have an irrational hatred of <laughs> So, um, anyway. Uh, apparently, 
before I talk about this SCP, how the Foundation explains the deaths caused by this SCP is by a cult. Like, not just saying, oh, just a murder, no, just a, a, a satanic cult has done all this. Really? Yes. Wait, what? <laughs> that's just... <laughs> I feel like that just draws more attention to it. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, on to this that's SCP. All what? Uh, wait. Uh, we're looking, we're about to look at Predatory Darkness. Yeah. Uh, SCP-575 appears to be an unknown form of matter, taken the form of a series of amorphous black shapes and structures. SCP-575 is difficult to observe as it immediately dissipates when exposed to light. Current testing has been unable to, ident to identify if SCP-575 is organic or inorganic. Sp despite the lack of any visible nervous systems or observ observable organic components, SP-575 displays behavior consistent with an active consciousness. SCP-575 initially manifests in total darkness. How this occurs is unknown. However, tests have shown a variable mass of SP-575 forming when dead expunged. Uh, variable along with the time frame, SCP-575 is capable of floating and can alter its density allowing it to pass through very small openings. SCP-575 prefers very dark, isolated locations in which to settle after its initial formation and will remain there until it reaches critical mass at dead expunged. SCP-575 gro grows with the absorption of biological material. SCP-575 will attack living things by solidifying portions of itself and using these appendages to bludgeon, cut, and crush uh, subjects. The tracking and selection methods used by SP-575 are currently not understood. Upon disabling a subject, SP-575 will forcefully tear and crush tissue within the mass object until it is absorbed. SCP-575 is unable to interact with objects rich in calcium. However, the nesting areas for SCP-575 can be identified by large amounts of bones, teeth, and calcified dust around them. SCP-575 is capable of manifesting in any area of total darkness. This appears to be a form of spontaneous degeneration, and it can form in any suitable dark location after data expunged. SCP-375 was initially covered after, uh, recovered under the home of Mr. Redacted and his family. When initial contact was made, SP-575 had digested the household and had partially consumed a neighbor. One redacted, age redacted. Since this initial contact, redacted instances of SP-575 have been recovered, most of which have been residential homes or large buildings, such as factories and schools. The cause of this uh, preference is unknown, however, it has been suggested that the building behaviors of man simply provide more suitable nesting areas, or that SP-575 somehow needs a nearby human presence, both theories are, theories are under investigation. So basically, if you be in a dark area, you're fucked. Yeah. So certain groups, or maybe even country, um, this has Both nothing are... to do with the SCP- but Butch Hartman got hacked by a bunch of NFT bros. And now, what, whoever the fuck, like, the NFT bros that hacked Butch Hartman are now posting nonstop about their NFT collection dropping soon. Okay, whatever. <laughs> anyway, Hatchet, you're about to say? About to say, that is a, like, certain group and country. Those are two very far apart extremes. Yeah. I would say certain group. It yeah, has... you have to be in, like in a dark area, but even then, it's still terrifying because it can go to no, any yeah. dark area, and as well as change shape. No, yeah, like it's it's painfully hard to contain, but it has about as much overall societal threat level as a serial killer. Yeah. Like it's a 
it's a problem. We gotta deal with it, and it's really fucked up. But Ooh. like, it's not gonna kill tens of thousands of people. So a certain group. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna tell you this. This is a very popular one extremely popular I'm gonna just tell Is you ahead of time man? I'm gonna tell you no we already we already did old man and plus this one we oh, know yeah. is extremely dangerous as it was able to reset a timeline with what? the help of 055 but I'm now gonna read his description SCP-579 description Data expunged. We know absolutely nothing about it. It erases all form of information about it. Oh. So it's, anti it's an anti-memetic one. Yes, but even more powerful than O55. Since it can also, hmm. like, damage other things than living to prevent information. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, the Foundation doesn't even know how they got it. Just appeared. Fun. Also, apparently, when agents were able to find some information about it, they all, all of them were terminated. Immediately. Like, by SCP or by the object? Uh, by the SCP. So... It only chooses to stay with the foundation. Mm. Which means it can do whatever it wants. Mm. <laughs> it's already reset a timeline. This definitely needs to go in the key. In the top class. Universe yeah. ending. Yeah, if you're wondering which one that is, it's the SAP 5000 one. You know, the suit of armor. If anyone yeah. remembers that story. Yeah. That was the one that was used. Oh, the suit of armor. Yeah, remember we had to take the briefcase to that containment area? Is it was a five seven nine. Banana? Yes. What the fuck? It's, Why it's is a, there a banana there? It's a joke, SCP. We'll get to it eventually. <gasps> Wait. Yeah. So. Banana. Hmm. Is it. I mean, with O55, we're able to find out, like, it's not. Uh, it's not a circle. With 579, we know next to nothing. Yeah. See, so I gotta find a picture. I find its fucking picture. <laughs> I would find I feel like you're gonna be here nothing. for a bit. How, how do you find a picture of something that, that can erase pictures? Is it the eyes? Like the black cube no. with red eyes? Is it the random Asian looking man I see? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Is it perhaps that one black square there? Yeah, the one with the red eyes. That's the one I mentioned. That has no, red eyes. Oh, it should be a, a swirling black gooish mess. If oh, it was... I see SCP-1000 right there. Is that the Bigfoot? Yes, that's the Bigfoot. Yeah, we got the Bigfoot. Oh, did the picture not go through? Because I'm seeing it right here. Did it? Oh, did it? Did it delete? Did it actually delete the picture? <laughs> it cannot. The 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 site that you're using cannot contain it. Oh, I found it. It's right here. I got it. There we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The only question is, would it try? Would it destroy the universe? Uh, it's unknown. We have no idea what the fuck it wants. All we know is that it can do that. Mm-hmm. But since since it did reset the timeline with the five thousand thing, which In that case... if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, the like. In that timeline, ever that was like a death timeline. So okay, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the SCP Foundation started just 
killing all humans effectively. Besides oh. those that have no emotions. Oh. Um so Isn't that actually I think so, so yeah. Isn't if you kill all humans except for the ones that don't have emotions, isn't that like eugenics? Oh yes. wait, hold on. Before you do that, yes. they were actually able to look deeper into that story and they found out that the foundation was in the right and the suit of armor was in the wrong. It was they were being manipulated right. by five seven nine. Well wait, I'm sorry. Wait, wait I'm they sorry. were being manipulated. Because wait, because the people that what? the Foundation was killing was infected by that Pneumoma project that they were looking into. Okay. So they were trying okay. to get rid of it. it they are trying to get re rid of it and reset humanity. But now the re timeline is reset and we have no idea how to prevent it. Okay. Yeah. We still don't see how anything that how yeah, anything the SCP Foundation did there was justified. Yeah. Granted, it, not fully, but mm, the, the 579 did. Gen genocide is not... Right. Yeah. But when, now we have no idea how to prevent it, though. Sadly. Well, yeah, but like they were literally killing off anyone who hadn't had their emotions completely deadened. Yep. So, what that implies is that this thing follows along with emotions. Yep. Mm -hmm. If the option is between this seemingly non-harmful SCP that comes alongside emotions and humanity ceasing to have emotions after a global genocide, I think I'm just gonna pick the SCP. Yeah. Also, at that point, would humans even be human or would they just be robots? I would argue that they would not be humans. Yeah. Well, I would I would argue that they would still be humans, but like well, they, they would be emotion. Yeah, they would like, be emotionless, but they would still be humans. Yeah, they would be yeah. biologically human, but they will have gotten rid of everything that makes humans specifically unique and interesting. Because the thing is, some people don't have feelings, but like that's not everyone doesn't have feelings. That's the thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm looking at this SCP. Like, yeah, what the fuck is this? Emotion. What like, is like, this? At a, at, a certain, at a certain like line of how much the population doesn't have feelings, I think that's when it starts crossing. They're biologically human, but they function right. like a robot. Like, then again, when at one point has the ethics committee of the SCP Foundation did anything, you know ethic for people i mean don't they capture ethic. like literal ethic. children yeah often <laughs> they've, also, they've also they also tortured the water lady and uh, many other like scps so like eh. the foundation's moral high ground has been destroyed by itself isn't yep. it isn't the scp foundation technically fascist or, like, Probably. that depends on, like, the yeah. reading of the SCP Foundation. Well. Okay. All right, so we should probably move on to the new SCP now. <laughs> well, the thing I was going to say on that note is yeah. fascism tends to be defined by some level of racial uh, 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 dynamics. And the SCP Foundation, as far as I know, doesn't have that. So fair. It's, it it's something, like, slightly less than fascism. Like totalitarianism. Yeah. That's yeah. That's a better way to put it. Also, on to the next SCP, which is a joke one. Yay! Fun. Let's see and whether or most not most likely going to be put in spoot tier. Yay. Uh, I was going to say, is it either going to be spoot tier or XK? Let, let's, let's so <laughs> here's the thing, it's mm -hmm. making fun of five seven nine. Or what's five seven nine? The one we just talked about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do I look like I remember the numbers? Anyway. Hey, I already forgot which number it was. Anyway. I think that's because we both have ADHD and forget things very easily. We, we all I'm... have ADHD. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. I'm playing Minecraft. <laughs> no one cares. Also, ADHD. Anyway, this SCP, SCP-579-J, 
Description. Unlock description using 1000 Telekill or pay $15.99 to acquire description in Adamantum DLC. Wait, what? <laughs> it's fucking made by EA. No! Addendum. Oh Time Atten Addendum. Timeline. Event 0. SCP-579 is discovered. Point of Origin is unlike po Point of Origin DLC for 2000 Telekill. Oh, event no 1. Idea. Event 1. Initial assessment of SCP-579 is undertaken, unlike test result DLC for 2000 Telekill. Oh my god. Event 2. SCP-579 is inadvertently unlocked that unlock thing that goes wrong. DLC for 5000 Telekill. <laughs> <laughs> Event, I want to cry. Event 3. Successful ca containment DLC is GOC exclusive. Unlock successful containment DLC by ordering this document from the GLC. Cry. Oh my God. Event I'm 4. Really SP579 is moved to site. Site number DLC is UIU exclusive. Unlock site number DLC by ordering the document from the UIU. <laughs> Oh my God. Event 5, SCP-579 is moved into, uh-oh, you have run out of energy. You can't, you can wait for, hold on, I'm getting knock at the door. It's, it's a mobile game. Oh my God. Yeah. It's okay, made. it's a mobile game, it's a mobile game that's connected to a, that also like is run on like PS4s and shit. Yeah. <laughs> But it's worse than any like PS4 game, uh, than any like mobile game that was moved. PS4. I'm I'm back. Hold on, I finished reading it. Hold on, I gotta read this message again. Uh oh, you have okay, run out of energy. Time. You can wait for 15 hours, 20 minutes for more energy, or replenish your energy instantly with 100 telekill, and continue to read this document. Order more telekill now. An administrative alert. Dr. Wilson's employment has been terminated due to his attempt to implement microtransactions into documents such as SCP-579 and SCP-231. All staff are encouraged to report to the official uh, department to receive their one-cent compensation. Oh my god. It, it is a hold, EA. Hold on. Uh, if you hit it again... Order more telekill now. It says, "Stop clicking me, you in inconsiderate scrub." Oh my god! <laughs> so, w this is the last SCP for tonight because I am being uh, uh, I'm being told vicious viciously by my parents to to shut the fuck up and go to bed. But I'm You're not fully going to. You're an adult. I mean, I'm still gonna stay up. But I'm gonna be. I have to be a lot quieter now, which means I can't fully read SPs as well. Yeah. So this is the last one for tonight. Anyway, uh, where do you guys want to put this one? That one's a um, pretty easy spood tier. It it, it no was, it was, doesn't no I was doesn't gonna deserve. say ZX. I was gonna say it, ZX. It doesn't deserve well, just... spoon tier. Yeah, actually, yeah, it doesn't deserve spoon tier. I, mm -hmm. I, I want to put it in ZX because of how ZX. It, Where's it was... ZX? Yep. You mean ZK? ZK. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not a threat though. It's just my it's a huge threat to reality. It's a threat to uh -huh. your. It's a threat to your bank account. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Let's say a certain group then, since. It's a threat Is everyone in agreement for a certain group? What? Wait, what? Why would we put it in certain group? I don't know. <laughs> because it affects people's bank accounts. <laughs> Unless you want to put it in only one. Pension players that spend money on. Unless you want to put it in only one. Does that mean that literally all consumerism is an anomaly? Yep. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> what are your people's standards for danger? I'm gonna. I'm literally gonna put in a spoon tier. Capitalism here. is uh, a threat. Though. Okay, this is. Yeah, this is about like capitalistic shitheads. Doing <laughs> shit. 
<laughs> it's going its like boots Ian. here. It goes it's in its boots. I don't feel like it deserves spoot tier, but I think it deserves spoot tier because it's a good joke. <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah, not it's even a, a good joke. Threat. But I, except for yeah, but I hate, I hate it. That's also fair, <laughs> but still.